This started as a flat image on my computer and in a few simple steps, it turned into this. A fully 3D printed mold I can use for my silver sand casting process. But the same thing can also work for silicon molds for candle making, chocolate making, soap, you name it. So this one skill unlocks a ridiculous amount of possibilities. So here we are, we're over in Canva. Now what you can see on the screen here is the actual starting image. And all I did was I generated this using ChatGPT, but you can use any image generation software you want or any image you've already got. You can use Midjourney, Grok, whatever it may be. But this was a ChatGPT image and I've just got it in Canva and all I've done, I've just resized it to the size that I want to do to make my 3D model. Because basically, just grab it. Don't know if you can see it very well, but that's what we're going to turn it into. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to take your your normal 2D flat image and turn it into a 3D print and you can use this then to make a mould. Now I'll use mine to make impressions in sand for my silver pouring but you could actually take this and make a silicon mould around it so then you can pour in your candle wax or your, your soap, your chocolate, whatever you want to do. So it's a really cool process so I'm going to show you how you get to the 3D print. So you've got your image, you've resized it in Canva. A little tip that you should also do as well is upscale it, which I've already done, but in Canva, you just click upscale and then you can just, you'll see the thing, you choose a file and upscale the resolution as far as you want. But I've already done that already, so I don't need to do it. So once we've done that, we then pop across to another program called Sculpt OK, and that's where we make a depth map, because what we need to do is make a depth map, because that's what's gonna allow us to generate the, th the file to make the 3D print. So let's head over to Sculpt OK now and see how we do that. So here we are, we're over at Sculpt OK. Now this is the landing page. Now it's got lots of really cool tools and I've just done lots of updates and it's getting really, really cool now. But what we want to look at today is the depth map. So what we do is we click here, depth map generation, and you can see there's lots of different things now. You've got a pro level, ultimate, 16 bit, gives it more detail. So what we're going to do, we're going to kick it off. We're going to go, we're going to click 16 bit down here. And we're also going to go Pro 2K. Now, basically what we're doing with this program, Sculpt OK, this is going to make us a depth map. Now, what a depth map is, it's just basically a grayscale image, as it were. I'm just boiling it down to keep it simple. And you've got light areas and dark areas. Now, the dark areas are going to be in the background and the lighter areas are going to be more forward. So what that means is we can make a 3D print and when it does the layers, anything lighter will be higher up, more, more depth to it, and anything dark will, won't be as high so it, wasn't, it won't print as deep. Now that's all we're doing. So what we have to do, we've got to input the image. So I'm just going to load an image now. So there we go. We've got our image, our airman, our pilot. Now all we need to do now is as simple as this, click draw, and now it's going to generate the depth map for us. And then once we've got that depth map, we'll then also in Sculpt OK get it to generate the STL for, file for us so that we can then send that over to the printer and we've got our actual plastic mould, which we then, as I said, can go on. I can do my silver casting with it or you can put it in silicon and make a silicon mould from this. So as you can see, here it is. It's got a watermark on it. But if you click no preview watermark, we can see what it's going to generate like. And here we go. And what I'm going to do is get rid of the texture map. And look at that. Look at that. And you've got lots of, lots and lots of different things down here you can mess about with. I'm not going to go that into that today. I'm just going to keep it really simple. All we're going to do, we're going to take model scaling from 50%. I'm going to go all the way up to 100% and it will give us more detail. And we've also got the relief intensity. Now you can mess about with this. There's lots of different things you can do. As you can see, it changes the image slightly. You can go less detail, more detail, and it all depends what kind of finished project you're going for. But I like to have as much detail as we can. So we'll take this slider all that way. And now this will give it, it takes a second. As you can see, it's crisp, crisp it up. It's more sharper. And that's what we're going to go for. That's our 3D rendering now. And also, there's lots of other things. Like I said, you can make it thicker, thinner. All depends what, what you want to do. Um, but I like, I like to set it around two millimeters thick. 
and the max you can, you can, you can just really mess about with it. You can extrude it out further, whatever you want to do. It's one of those, as, as I've touched on before, it depends what you want to do. Something I'd just like to add here, it is a paid for service, but if you check the description below the video, I have got a little link which will give you some free credit. So if you click that link, you'll get some free credits and you can play about with it and see whether you can, you can come up with something cool for your project. So go check that out. Now back to the generation. So once we've got this, we'll, what we do now, we save this out. So we just download the STL. So you just click there and that's going to save the STL file. And that's what we put across to our 3D printer to print out. So let's do that now. So here we are over in the slicer from a 3D printer. Now, if you're into 3D printing, you'll, you probably know what this is. This is Bamboo. I mean, Bamboo Studio. And there's our little, if I just zoom in a bit, there's our STL file we just created. So now I'm going to send it across to the printer. But what I like to do, obviously, is put it flat on the bed, as you can see. But when I print these, I like to do them standing up because you just get a lot better detail. Because if it prints that way, going up, you don't get all the layer lines on top. If we were to print it like that, flat, the last look, you'd get the layer lines on top and it just doesn't look as good. And that's just through experience of doing it. So what we do, we just stand it up. So basically, we just rotate it to 90 degrees. And we just print it standing up like that. So we send it across to the printer. So we just click splice. And that's sliced it up. And as you see, this is going to take total time 41 minutes. And then we'll just send that across to the printer and it'll print out. So let's see that happening. And as you can see, it's just doing the last couple of layers. And I know this, this camera work isn't the best, but it's come out really, really cool. We'll have a look at it over at the desk now. And that's all there is to it. You've got your 3D mould. So here we are after it's printed out. As you can see, it's come out really, really cool. Really pleased. And I've done a few of us. We've got another pilot there, another variation. More of an old fashioned type of soldier. But it's just, when you follow the steps, it's so easy just to, to take a, an image, just your normal JPEG or PNG file, whatever it could be, to get yourself a 3D print. Now, when you're in this situation, once you've got this, you could, you could of course, like I mentioned before, go on to make a silicon mould, um, and then you could use that mould for whatever you wanted to, you know, chocolate, I don't know, candles, soap, and it's just the possibilities are endless. And all it takes is knowing how to get your idea. You, you come up with an idea for your picture, then you transform it into a 3D print and you can get on and do some work. And what I do is silver pour. And if you've watched some of my other channels, this is a 3D print, obviously. And I've gone on and sandcasted it and made the piece in silver, in actual solid silver. And that's all, all there is to it. And now I'm just in the process of making a box for that one. So thanks for watching. If you are interested in this type of thing, check this video out here because I think you'll find this interesting. Cheers for watching.